I want everyone to know before I go any further on this video that I hate doing these and I suck at talking on camera. If you work with me, you already know that. The end. Jonathan Thorpe here. I'm really excited to tell you about a new lens I got in the mail today. The Tamron 18-200 VC lens for the Canon EOS system. Now the Canon EOS came out back in 2012 and it was met with mixed reviews. A lot of people didn't like the fact that it didn't have a viewfinder, the ergonomics weren't great, and overall the price was really, really high. I think it came in around $800. Uh, Canon users wanted something better in their mirrorless camera. But recently I found a copy of it on eBay or Amazon, wherever I got it from, for only $200. So I couldn't pass up the price, so I bought one. And honestly, it's my favorite go-to camera. I use it a lot for video. Uh, it's small, it leaves a nice little small footprint when I shoot with it. I can attach it to my drone and fly this around. And it's been great. Uh, the video quality is really good. Everything about it, I'm pretty happy with. Regarding the price that I paid for it. If I had paid $800, I probably wouldn't be that stoked on it. Uh, up until today, I've been using the EOS M with a Photo Deox uh, EF adapter so I can put my EF lenses on the camera, which works great. Although using a big heavy EF lens on such a small body was kind of strange and it didn't really feel too good. So Tamron recently came out and released a all-in-one 18-200 lens for the EOS system. They also released another micro four-thirds lens at the same time. I don't have a four-thirds system, I just use this one. So I have it right here, it just came in the mail, and we're gonna cut it open and we're gonna see what I think of it as I open the box. So let's do that, like it's 1995. Okay, here we go. All right. I think I cut into the Tamron box itself. Yes, I did. Okay, and here we go. Let me get rid of this. So that's the lens. So 18 to 200 f35 to 63 di3 iill whatever three <laughs> VC Tamron lens. Box looks like every other box I've seen Tamron make. So let's go ahead and open it up. We have serial number. Don't need that. All this stuff that, as a photographer, you probably already know, so we don't need it either. Get rid of that. Let's get right down to the nitty gritty here. More packing, and here we have it. So much packing. There it is, the 18 to 200 BC lens for the EOS M system. Uh, we also have a lens hood also in a bunch of plastic for some reason, and that is it. So let's get rid of that. Okay, first reaction to the lens. Um, looks good, it's very uh, simple. Uh, it's made of plastic, which for the EOS M system is good. It's lightweight, and you want to keep everything as light as possible. Um, there's not much to it, really. It's just, it's a lens. So, take the cap off. It's a 62 millimeter filter thread. Um, yeah, it looks good. I don't know what else to say. It's a lens. So let's pop the lens hood on there and slap it onto the EOS M. And fire it up. Okay, so. Two, wow. Okay, so 200 millimeters is really far on this camera. And I hope you can't hear that on the film, in the footage. But someone I think is chopping down a tree in the background. Anyways, uh, focus uh, threading feels really smooth, really easy. That'll be good for filming. Um, the zoom ring's a little tight, but I think when you go from 18 to 200, it's a, it's, a, it's a pretty big barrel movement, so I would kind of expected that. Let's check the focus on it. Focus is really snappy. Focus is very snappy. It took a wonderful picture of my assistant, Sean, who's behind the camera right now. Um, let's check out the video. I'm gonna record some video of Sean here. There he is, looks good, handsome man. That VC is incredible. See, Tamron's always been really awesome with their vibration control on their lenses, and that's one of the main reasons I wanted this. I use my USM for filming most of the time, not really much so much for stills. 
and to have a lens that I could put on the camera and cover such a wide zoom range and still film with and walk with and get no vibrations in my shot was super, super important to me. So I guess the next thing we'll do now is take some pictures with it and see how it performs. Check it out.